All right, guys, we're back again with the PDU Pro from Unify, or like you like to call them, Ubiquity. I've been looking for this for a long while. I was like, ah. Oh. You know, at first, when I first saw this product when it came out, I was like, oh, I don't really need it. There's no point. I have my power conditioners and all that. And then one time my server hanged up and I wasn't at home and people were calling me like, oh, your server's not working. Oh, why is it down? I want to watch something. Or, you know, I was trying to access my cloud from far away or something. I was like, gosh, dang it. All I had to do was unplug it, plug it back in or just do a restart. I couldn't do it from, from far away. And I was like, gosh, darn it. And then sometimes I update some of my stuff when I'm not at home might turn off because you know my wife might be like oh what happened just un unplug it like my pie hole my pie hole goes down it's like oh man i just did an update on it but i'm, I'm away I, I like to update my stuff but if my wife's home and something's not working or something stalls or hangs i just want to be able to you know power it down and i can't always do that if i'm not at home but this makes me let me do it this is why i'm excited there are 16 16 I say again controllable power plugs in the sucker and it has four USB C that you can control too so if any like pie holes or anything that uses USB C or you can just you know power goes out this right here is gonna be plugged into my triple light no wait well not my triple light my UPS so this one thing's gonna be plugged into my UPS it's gonna bring some of the cables that are down below my UPS up, so they're not on the floor or whatever. So this is gonna be cable management too, just not that. It's also, um, uh, when it brings up the UPS, so I have my uh, triple light, uh, ISO power conditioner, uh, surge protector, then my UPS plugs into that, and then, so it protects my UPS even more. Then this is gonna plug into my UPS, so I'm gonna have more ports. Even though my UPS does eight, it's just every port that's plugged on my UPS, the cyber power, every one of them is battery back. I mean, you know, battery backup and surge. Some companies, their UPSs only have, you know, half battery backup, half surge. I mean, half surge and battery backup, and the other half are only surge protection. But mine does all. But I just wanted it to be nice. This is going to make a huge difference. And not only that, uh, it also has internet uh, fail. So let's say this connects directly into the router if you want to, that you can connect right into your router. So if your router detects it's offline, it'll automatically restart your modem. Kind of like the smart plug from Unify and the little power strip they have. This is just the pro version of that. So, and then there's another cool thing. So you can have, um, you can directly plug your modem directly into this and you can plug in two UDMs if you wanted to, and if one fails of your UDM Pros or UDM Pro SEs, it'll kick over to the other one. So you're rocking and rolling and you're back up in line again so you can have redundancy of router, redundancy, and this thing will control it too. This thing is freaking awesome. Uh, it's a 2U unit, um, and it's a lot heavier in the box compared to what I was thinking it was from what the size was and everything, but yeah. Let's get into the unboxing of this. All right, my friends, we're going to unbox this sucker right now. And of course, we got the pull tab. Love it from the Unify. Oh, yes. I've been waiting for this. Definitely been waiting for this. Super, super duper just excited. Okay, I don't need this, just a setup guy if you want to scan your phone. We got rack ears. Got the rack screws and the standoffs and everything. And the little rubber feet in case you want to mount those, but I don't know why you would. Or you can put it underneath in case something's going to sit on top of it. You want to make sure there's going to be room. So it's cool he always includes that. Take these off. Oh, yes. Look at this. Beauty. Oh, let me take this sucker out now. Oh. Oh. We can just push that away. And look at this. 
in freaking credible in freaking credible quality is always unified perfection the nice silver we got 16 controllable plugs these ones are spaced off so if you have the big power bricks you can be able to change it we got the screen right here that you can peel off i mean it's going to be my rack anyway once it's peeled off so i shouldn't worry about it the touch screen look at the power this will literally show you in the interface and i will show you guys the power of the max that's plugged into this it'll give you like this can be, i think it's 18 50 watts or something like that and when you go in here it'll really show you the percentage of how close you are to that so that's pretty dang cool so you don't have to worry about overloading it we got our four usb ports right here um we got our three land ports and there's one more oh interesting okay where is this? Okay, I can already see the plastic. Uh, get rid of the plastic. Ooh, here we go. Ah, yes. Interesting, I don't know why it covered the whole back. I mean, it could've just covered this port, but yeah, whatever. I'm not complaining, it came off. It was a nice little peel. We had the little circuit breaker right here. We can pop off and stuff. Uh, now the cool thing is you can plug your two udms in here your uh, your routers right here really dang cool and then you can plug your modem in the back here if you want redundant routers so that's pretty dang cool this port right here you can use to sense if the internet goes off so it'll power out the uh, re you know redo the modem so you can just say hey no internet let's uh redo the modem and take the power off it so you now any one of these plugs can be the modem you can set whatever or you could be like hey if the power goes out i want to set reset this plug this plug this plug or all the plugs i mean you just got to do it in the interface but yeah this thing is legit i'm freaking excited reset button right here so we adopted oh my god it just looks awesome this will be in the back of my network uh you won't see it in the front i'm gonna have it in the back but yeah i'm excited uh, let's get into the interface and setting this sucker up now. All right, guys. So now we're into the interface with the PDU Pro. Uh, you can see uh, mine's been on for a while. How much wattage power you use? Kind of just the general scale. Insight. There we go. How much wattage my whole rack's taken up is 123.57 watts out of. 1,875 so this thing can do a lot and you can't get two of these I mean you can have multiple of these I mean whenever you have more stuff different sections of your rack you can bring it down as in boom I'll have this up for these switches routers then boom for the next device servers or whatever you want to do and have another one down below so it's it's freaking awesome so the insight is pretty cool so here are all the plugs you can either click them this way and it will bring right into it depending on where you label your stuff i labeled it switch pro wait <laughs> excuse me all right uh power cycle the modem if i wanted to i mean you can, you can have multiple power cycle modems so anytime that there's no internet connection it'll automatically power cycle the modem or whatever device is plugged into just modem by default but it can be anything you want so anytime there's no internet that device will automatically restart now if you just want to log in turn off the outlet itself just click this or you can power cycle you press power cycle it's going to turn off the device and instantly restart it so that's freaking awesome so what you can do too back to insights or i could just gone here after i'll just do a show you guys again so it shows all the information how much wattage each device is using which is pretty cool this is my router so 16.63 watts that's freaking like nothing uh i don't have that on because i don't want that to be restarted or anything like that but i guess i could it might be a good idea but probably not i don't want to um but yeah so i have all my information you can name it here then if you want to go back go back you can go to outlets and then you can see them all right here you can just see them all remember the usb ports are considered one so even if you go to like let's say here are the usb ports see ports here it's just all are considered one so that's the well, that's the not the usb port that's the the router port sorry the usb ports are here sorry they're all considered was one no matter which one you do you can, you can name each port differently but power cycling, power cycles that whole section of ports. 
that's the only thing. But hey, that's pretty cool. You can at least do USB ports. So you go to outlets. You can just lay, see all the outlets you want. But you label the wattage in real time, power consumption, and then you can just click it, and it'll bring you to the same menu. Uh, services. We don't need to do that. Networking. I set like a static IP address uh, for it on my network, and just the basic updates, restart, all the basic stuff. But yeah, I'm really excited about this, and this. I'll show you guys here in a minute on the phone. They don't, I don't know why they don't have this, but it's, I mean, it's it'll probably be coming. I mean, it doesn't make any sense why it wouldn't ever come. But, you know, when you're in these outlets or you're clicking it on the phone, let's say this is my, oh, yeah, this is my modem right here. So my modem, set it right here. Power, rest, uh, I can just restart or whatever. But the weird thing about the modem part is, and all these power things, you can't do any of this. Of this power cycle stuff on the phone. It's so weird. I just, on my phone, go to the unify.ui.com actual website, switch it on. I'm an Android user, switch it to desktop view so I have the whole desktop as if I'm on this at home or wherever, and I can just power cycle the ports that way. So that's pretty cool. At least I can do that. But it would be nice to have it on the phone. It doesn't make sense to me why it's not on the phone. But hey, let's get right into it and I'll show you guys what it looks like on the phone. All right, guys. So as you can see, I'm in the phone app now. I just selected my device. This is what it shows, all the ports, the ports that are on. So it doesn't show these blank in the actual interface, but who knows? I'm on the 1.1 controller of the Unify, waiting for 2 to come out, and then 3 is supposed to be coming out later. So it could change for that part, but this is all you get. Like I said, if I click number 5, this is all you get. You only get user information and stuff like that. And then the settings, that's all you get. That's all you get. So, you really don't get much on this. It doesn't make any sense to me other than just seeing that this is online, the Atlas is in use, and the name of what it is. So, whatever you have it as. And then the wattage, but other than that, you really don't get anything. No information whatsoever. It's kind of sad and weird, but yeah, that's it. Pretty weird, but yeah. All right, let's get into my final thoughts. All right, guys. So that was the PDU Pro from Unify. I'm just so excited. I am just literally ecstatic about this. I just couldn't believe it. I love power stuff. I love protecting power. I got a cool new noise sniffer coming on the way. I've seen them for years. This one I've been wanting. I got this cheapo knockoff one because the one I wanted wasn't around. Finally found it and I was just like, God, I have a search never. Now it's available on the site, but I couldn't find it for like years. And I got it. It's coming. Get ready for that. But I love power. I just love it. I love protecting your stuff, being able to remotely manage. That's what the most biggest thing about this is, is remotely manage. I already have the um, smart plug so I can automatically detect and turn off my modem. I can get use that and give that to somebody else now, which I am, because this can do that too. So that's just a little bonus there. Kill two birds with one stone. But the nice thing is, anytime any of these, I don't even probably fill all these ports, but you can get multiple of these too. Remember, multiple. My UPS can fit eight things, so I can have one of these. Then once this gets filled up, get another one if I need to. Plug it in, they'll all be on my UPS. But yeah. I am just ecstatic about this. It just looks so premium. And that's the cool thing about Unify. You know when you go with Unify, it's going to look premium and just be awesome possum. And it really just adds some aesthetic to your house. And the cool thing about Unify is it might take a little bit of time, but they're always adding new features. They're always adding new stuff. There's so much stuff there. Some things that they're early access that people will never see. But uh, most of it they do. And uh, they just do a great job. Uh, you know, sometimes they don't have all the features that people want right off the beginning, but usually they add them in. And usually they surprise you with something that nobody even thought of before. That's why I just like them. And, you know, this is just awesome. Awesome. This just looks awesome. Oh, man, I'm just super, super excited. As I said before, this will be in the back of my rack on the other side. You won't see it. But if you wanted to see it, I just don't like to see the plugs. So I'm not going to see that, but it's going to be protected in the back. So this is going to be awesome. And all the stuff that needs to be plugged in will be plugged in. And, you know, uh, label the ports and everything with what I want. That's the cool thing you can do, label the ports. I mean, this is just super, super, super exciting. I'm excited. 
Hey, most important thing is you and your family are having a rock number one day. If these videos help you, if you like them, help me out. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Comment at the bottom. And if you really like it, just give it a thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. I know everybody says that. You know, leave it if you don't. Put a thumbs down if you don't like it. I mean, I'm only going to see it, so... But it's up to you. But, hey, I do these videos for you guys and for me because I get excited about technology. I get excited about premium stuff and just feeling it. This does retail for 271 bucks. I paid like 300 and something for it after taxes and shipping. But, yeah, it was worth every penny. And it's going to last for years and just be powerhousing my network. So peace out, and I'll catch you in the next video.